Hey, hey, I don't know about the mic. Hey, hey. What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another video. Picky, picky, picky. Hey, got a shimmy, shimmy, coco pop. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I am back, y'all. But before we go along, please make sure that you subscribe and click the notification bell, okay? So that you don't miss a beat. I'm gonna tell you just real quick, I do have my Ardell 213s because it's a love thing. Um, yeah, you know, when you show white on here, it just kind of washes it out. And the palettes that I have, and we're gonna work with hopefully all as well, cause y'all know I do not practice my looks, I just get an idea and then I roll with it. So I have the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, the one that is called Bling, Oh. Bling Boss. This is the Bling Boss palette. I'm thinking about, woo, I'm thinking about going into that purple. And then my filthy, like, that's why I don't like white. I need to clean that. And then my palette um, by Jaclyn Hill and Morphe again, because I just love this palette for crease colors and whatnot. So I just wanted to have that by my side. And then the James Charles palette by Morphe, because I want this to be the star of the show right here. That purple right there with the shimmer. Let's see. Shimmy, shimmy, coco pop. We do something to um, mm, mm. I don't remember. But you see, it's kind of close. And then this one, which is the Morphe, girl, I don't even know what this is. The name is the 39S because it has all those purples in there. I'm going to use this concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in Chestnut. And I'm going to use this as a, um, not necessarily, I don't wanna say a base, cause I am gonna use something else, but I do wanna use this as a, um, not as a, um, but use it to meet out the discoloration on my lids. I want to make my whole lid the same color as my face, right? So that there's no darkness around the eyes. So that is what that is for. And I'm excited cause I'm always ready to film for you. Always ready to film for you, Hey, Yeah. I am going to take a little brush. This is a Milani brush. I don't even know the name. And I'm just setting that concealer real quick. Let me tell you about me. Let me tell you a little something about me. So I like low maintenance makeup. I like it to look bomb.com, but I don't want to spend 50 hours on my makeup. So. You know, I like to keep it simple and that's the goal here. I really want it to look bomb, like bomb.com, but I want to keep it simple, you know? So I think I'm going to go into, yeah, I'm going to go into this Morphe palette by ja with Jaclyn Hill into Roxanne, Roxanne, and I am going to put that in the crease. This is one of the shadows that I love. Usually I just do the crease, but I've been taking it down a little further. And so this is Roxanne, Roxanne. And I am just going to deepen it right here. I don't know, I'm just going with what I feel. Going with what I feel. So just put a little here. And the thing about makeup, y'all, let me just tell y'all again, I always tell y'all this. Do not be afraid to try things new or different things because it's makeup, it washes off. I know a lot of y'all was in y'all feelings about that blue waterline situation I did. Baby, it's gone. You just wash it off, it's okay. <laughs> so let me take that again right here and just blend that out. Now you can always take a paint pot by MAC, like they have this paint pot called Painterly and they also have a paint pot called Groundworks. But to be honest, y'all, I just try to keep it as simple as possible. I just tried to do this low maintenance situation and so I have this stick by LA Girl. The only thing is you have to be careful with your precision because it is rounded from like, oh, maybe I should clean that, huh? You know, gotta keep it real. Anyway, it is rounded because I use it time after time and it's almost gone so anyway i'm just gonna do the best i can to make sure that it goes where i want that's you know what though that's really cute just all by itself with like a little brown under here brown highlight and i can rock this right here but yeah i want to go further so i am going to go uh oh see what i'm saying you gotta be careful so i'm gonna go up there and bring it across Cause if I need to make changes, I can, but I do want to go a little high in there. And um, they say fake it till you make it, but ain't nothing gonna change with these eyes. 
so I just make it look like my eyes go higher and I guess I'll stop like right there I should have maybe I should you know what close it in more hold on so dab that if you go too far just dab it a little bit see and then look at you could take this look so many ways if you want to right so this right here I could take this and I could go on with like a flesh color like a flesh type brown and totally make it like a neutral look if I wanted to or um you know or I can take that and put any color that I want right any color that's gonna go with that brown and to be honest a lot of colors I use go with that brown so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a um a shadow brush which I want one that is a little bit um oval yeah it's stained it's okay it is the morphe and jacqueline hill um brush you i'm that's it's called amethyst all because i don't want to knock it over and i'm gonna put it on and after i put this on then maybe i'll go on top with that other color and i forgot to tell y'all i have some glitter here too it's not like super bright purple like what i want but it will give me like that that glittery feel to it this is the urban decay it is called punk rock and it is their glitter liner so i'll probably just show you one eye so basically i am placing that purple everywhere that i put that base and i may have to clean up on aisle seven i don't know and this is one reason i don't do a lot of tutorials too because i feel like i don't feel like you guys really care for tutorials that much and i don't and it takes time let me see what happens if i go over this with the glitter see y'all i'm literally just trying stuff I think I'll just do it in the, in the front of it. I won't take it all over the lid. It gives it that shimmer, but I don't want to darken it too much. So let's just do a little right there. And I'm going to take my highlighter that is just so, this is so terrible. Look at that. Mm. I desperately need some more. This is universal. And I'm just going to put her up here. Placal. And then go back into that. Morphe 3502, like I'm about to do with that rich color. And I'm going to put it right here again. And I'm going to go right here in between like where the crease, where I did the crease and where I put that darker color. And I'm going to just blend over it a little bit just so it carries. Matter of fact, let me put a little bit more on the brush. Let's hit that like that eight. And then I'll probably take just some liner and put it right over the top. And um, yeah, take some liner, put it right over the top kind of I don't want to say tight line but I will do like a little strip I'm not gonna wing it out but I'll do a strip of liner and then I will put a little brown underneath and then I'm gonna do that to the other eye I'm gonna pop on these lashes the 213s and then I'll be back and we'll do the rest of the face but y'all that's as simple as it gets and boom she almost ready and boom she up uh, what what what? So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the Veil Primer. It is actually called Veil Mineral Primer. Base Mineral. Okay. And you see, I've been using this and it's been really great, especially with um, semi-hydrating foundations. And the Fenty though is definitely considered hydrating. Let me put it like that girl. Now I've been using her for a minute and guess what? A video is up. And so I'm just going to put some of this primer on. I cannot stand the way that it gives you a, um, like a purplish white cast, but it's oh so good. Less is more, but your girl is generous with every daggone thing. So like, um, I just do my thing. I just do me. I did get another one. I went to Sephora, um, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Corrector. And this one is in the shade 51. I got another one cause it's a love thing. I also was trying to get the Urban Decay Corrector, right? Or concealer. And they haven't had it for like months. Like really? So I'm just going to use this around my mouth. I have my concealer here which is the Juvia's Place that I've been loving. I have my banana powder here. Looks like the whole family's gathered around. Now, I have a video on um, how and why I do corrector, but you know what? I've had like, I've purchased so many correctors since then um, that I love. So that will just be more of a, like a back to the basics video, but I'm gonna put some corrector under my eye because 
this neutralizes the discoloration just like we did on top of the eye at first. So I've come to the conclusion that this right here is definitely one of my all time favorite beauty sponges. And this is the Sonia Kashuk sponge. And I think that after I get off of here, you know, after I get through doing this video, I'm going to buy more. They're like five bucks at Target. And absolutely, I'm going to buy more, especially now that I'm telling y'all, because y'all, I tell y'all stuff and y'all go grab it and y'all don't leave none for me. And so now I'm going to go into the Fenty that has a pump and it's in a tube. And I absolutely love that about this foundation. I love that it's creamy. Um, I have been using it since I got it. This between this and the Stay Naked, I've kind of been going back and forth. And this one though, I just have to kind of balance it out with my concealer because you guys know that it gives me a little oompa loompa situation, but it's okay. It, the love for it is so real that I could press past that. But this is number 12 by Juvia's Place Concealer. And so far they have been doing me all the way right. And I really do like this concealer. And I have, uh oh, that's one. I always seem to put a lot, but it's okay. It always balances out. But I have a video on this concealer. I may have to get some more because I really do like it. And I'm gonna be setting that with this, um, I was gonna say Ben Nye, but this is actually Black Radiance Banana Powder. And then I go in with a blush, but it's really not a blush. It's really eyeshadow and you can do that if you want to. It is from the Jaclyn Hill palette, the same one I use for the eyeshadow. It's not Roxanne Roxanne though. It is the color Hunts right there if you have it. It's Hunts. And I like the way that it does me. And I just like pop it on the cheek. And you guys know I am really like, I'm not generous with blush, that's for sure. I just like my blush very subtle because my cheeks already stick out and I just, I don't need no help. I don't need too much. And so after that, I get my highlighter and I totally want to boohoo cry because I have this glow up palette by Ofra. Y'all know I love their highlighters and I don't want to show you everything, but I totally cracked it and I just need to take some alcohol and fix it. But the one that I love so much is not cracked and I have a backup anyway, because it's a love thing, but it is the Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter. And this is what I use when I am going out or when I want you to see me from the airplane girl. I want you to see, I want the Eagles to see me, girl. Now my Becca though, my Becca is when you just want that subtle supernatural, right? I feel like this one, <laughs> supernatural, I like that. But it gives you that subtle, right? But this Becca Ofra, not, not Becca Ofra, <laughs> This Ofra Beverly Hills is what I meant to say. This one just get it just keeps me like shining, 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 yeah. And then I'm gonna go on with this um, Urban Decay spray. This is their Urban Decay All Nighter Summer Solstice spray. And I oh I need to cover my jewels, girl. So I'm gonna just spray it all over to just marry everything together. I'm thinking I'm gonna do this real quick and then I'll just like put on my the rest of my jewelry and all that. And I keep looking over there y'all cause I'm looking at the monitor, but I'll put on the rest of my jewelry and earrings and all that good stuff and show you the final look. But let me just dig right here. Cause see when I spray that, it just went to the wrong area. Purple rain. No, just kidding. But my hair actually matches my eyes. I asked you guys on Instagram what color I should get. I was like purple or blue but I did purple. Okay, so we're gonna go matchy matchy and put like some deep purple that's gonna match my shirt too. This is Ofra and I believe it's Bordeaux cause that is like my favorite purple. It's Bordeaux. And we're gonna put it on and it's gonna make me all the way fall, girl. Did somebody say it's fall time? Did somebody say it's fall time? This whole little ensemble, look girl, if I had a collar, I would pop it. But anyway, that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Um, if you are interested in seeing more tutorials and just chatting with me and playing and makeup, let your girl know and I will give you more. Um, usually I kind of get a little filming in for you guys too, but I hadn't been doing the tutorials. So let me know. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. You guys have an awesome blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Do not forget to join the fam band. Come on in. Come on in. We would love to have you girl. Bye. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.